how's it going? I'm back again. As always, got my mug. Got a different mug this week because my M mug is in the dishwasher. So I've got a sausage dog mug. Ah, thank you. So, um, today I'm going to talk about uh, a couple of things. First off, I'm making a blog. <gasps> cool, yeah! So, um, one of my friends said that it'd be really cool to have a blog alongside my videos, so I'm going to do that. And when it's up and running, I will let you guys know and post a link so you can follow it if you fancy a read. Um, in it, I'll have all like my my uh, outfits that I like to piece together, stuff that I want to wear for different videos if you want to know how to style it and stuff like that. So that will all be in the blog, which would be quite fun. So today I'm going to talk about the colour black. At this time of year when it's, you know, it's heading towards spring and summer and everyone, everyone's wanting to wear pastel, everyone's getting the pastels out. Yeah, sometimes pastel isn't your colour, isn't... Uh, isn't right for your shape. I find that I find that quite a lot of the time. So that's why I'm going to be talking about the colour black and grey, my favourite. Um, I hear a lot of people, yeah, at this time of year, say when they're shopping, oh, but can I get away with? You know, it's, it's we're getting towards spring summer. Can I get away with black? Can I get away with that? Is, is it too dark? I think you can wear black all throughout the year. I honestly do, especially black and grey. I mean, don't get me wrong. As it gets towards summer and spring, you know, you start to experiment and you get a bit more colour in. So, yes, you can wear black in spring. So I'm just going to talk you through some of the things that I have that I'll be wearing as we head into the warmer season. Okay, so first off, a grey t-shirt and then you piece it with, these are new, I've only just got these, like black harem pants. They bunch up at the leg, like that. Now I don't see why you can't wear trousers like that as it gets into spring and summer, because they're loose, so when it's warm they're loose, they're light, they're flattering. You can wear them with a the deep V tucked in, that would still look really cool, like boho vibe. Tucked in, statement necklace with that top little strappy sandals, heeled ones always. And that's just a really relaxed, a relaxed look. And that's the thing that's coming in at the moment. Athleisure. Athleisure. I think that's how you say athleisure. Basically, looking like you're going to the gym and not going to the gym. Literally just looking really casual and sporty, but not actually going to the gym. You're working out your sweat shopping instead of at the gym. And that's really in at the moment. So stuff like that, you can team together, look casual. Then you can add, you know, a kimono with it. This one's like a knitted kimono. kimono. A knitted kimono. Tassily. You could piece that together. Black and grey with the trousers. And that's an outfit. That's the first sort of pieces. And then also I want to show you just a light grey shirt. That's a light, these these shirts are amazing, right? They're from Mint Velvet. And I wear this shirt, I actually wear this shirt for uniform. Also brilliant because you don't really have to iron it. I'm not going to lie, it's brilliant because you stick this on a hanger and it and it literally decreases. I don't know how, no, I've just, I've just hung it up. And that's it. So that is just a grey thin shirt. Again, you can wear it with high-waisted jeans like this, but you could wear that one undone. You could wear that one done up with a jacket like this. Sorry, I've got it hooked over a top that I've bought and not worn yet from Zara in the sale, which is still, that's also quite nice. You know, if you're gonna team black and grey up, team it with white, because it's the best color and that adds, that adds the light that you want. You know, that adds the lighter colour you want and that makes everything a bit more vibrant if you think so. But long jackets like that. You can still wear a long sleeve top underneath and a black or a grey. That looks really nice. Or you can wear a short sleeve. Again, with your sports joggers or whatever I call them earlier. You can tuck it in, wear it with that. Heels, peep toe heels. Really, really nice outfit. 
And the last thing I'm going to show you, a dress I bought as well quite recently, and that is, it's again, it's a sort of knit, but it's really casual and that, you know, that's grey. And it's really nice and you could wear this, you know, you could put a belt wear it with it and wear it like tunic-y. You can wear it full length with black tights and, and boots. Or, you know, you could wear it in the spring and summer with sandals, no tights, and you're sorted. Little tan tassely bag, little tan tassely shoes. And that, yeah, it's grey, but it's ready it's ready for the season and i think that is so important that you should feel confident to be able to wear black and gray all throughout the year because it's you know it's the most stylish color in my eyes you can you can wear it in march april may june july august because black you know there's that famous quote i'll stop wearing black when they make a darker color it's so true i like to wear black all the time like that's I think that's just me. If you have any worries that you cannot wear black or grey in spring, summer, I'm telling you you can. Okay guys, thanks for watching.